cheers to you and whatever you are drinking on your end i'm just having a glass of water a refreshing glass of water because I have been struggling to drink water all my life. I used to think I used to drink a lot of liquids, but I wasn't. Like I was drinking tea and juice. I was addicted to juice. I was like a juice addict until I realized how much sugar is in it. We're here to talk about weight loss, right? Because sugar is really, really part of it. So drinking water has been really helping me. I have lost weight and it's been amazing yo it's been so so amazing i feel good i look good and i'm like 28 kilograms down 60 something lbs if you're converting it to pounds and i've been so happy but yo no one prepares you for the downsides of losing weight yes there are downsides there are things that people don't tell you about weight loss or going on your weight loss journey because you just see the glamorous you know transformations and you're like i love it here this is gonna be me but then there's so many things that are in between that you didn't encounter or even think about that you would be going through and i'm here to talk about those so i have a list on my phone here so that i don't get lost in whatever that's going on because i think you've figured out by now i love talking so we're gonna be here to talk about all of it so the first thing that i want to talk about that i wish i knew when it comes to like weight loss and losing weight was the anxiety of gaining weight maintaining and like still trying to keep up with what's going on because right now i'm sitting at 73 kilograms the last time i literally weighed myself this morning 73 kilograms and i'm still my my goal weight is like 60 kilograms 65 i'll be good but 60 i'll be really really happy and my family is like no don't do it you look fine already like what do you want to look like i'm like listen guys my health goals are my health goals because i want my doctor to be nice to me and my doctor has been nice to me listen my doctor has been nice to me you know to a point where uh, we went to the doctor the last time and they were like you know what you need to come to our diabetes department and talk to people on how to lose weight naturally i was like for sure send that chat though doc <laughs> but anyways yeah so it's it's the anxiety of you like losing weight gaining weight is a lot like and just checking constantly checking yourself on the scale like it's really a lot but it's something that i needed to do for myself because i knew that not checking myself on the scale is what got us to where we were before where i was weighing 100 kilograms i was 200 pounds yo like listen i don't know how we got there because Growing up, I was never really overweight. I was not overweight. I was not overweight. I never thought I would get here, but we got here because of me not checking myself and me not really checking like what's going on. So I think for me, I weigh myself in the morning, but I don't weigh myself after eating because after eating or even drinking water like I did, you gain. So you must just be... So, so I wake up and I'm 73 and by the time I go to sleep, I'm like 75. I wake up again and I'm 73 because of what I'll be eating during the day. So... Just that anxiety of gaining weight, you know, gives me, it, it, it really just puts me at an uneasy situation and maintaining, I'm maintaining, I think I've been 73 for January, February, we're in February right now and I'm maintaining and I'm really happy about that. I think that's like one thing that will put you at ease. But it's, it's just that anxiety that people really don't tell you because all you see is people transforming, people looking nice, things looking like everything is okay. But, you know, we don't talk about the, the internal fight that you keep fighting because once you've been big and you now have to lose weight and you now have to maintain it, it's like a whole different ball game than you ever really think about the next thing that i i talked about which really really has been getting me on the my on my list personally is fighting the urge to check the weight i really have to pace myself sometimes i do it i don't have like a like a schedule where i'm like okay maybe after a week i'm gonna check myself and do this and do that because i've been recording my weight loss journey and that's another thing that's on my list i will talk about it as well so just fighting the urge to check the scale has been something that's been really getting to me because i'm like okay when do i check it how many times do i check it how do how, how where do i keep it in mind and all these other things so i i just go with the flow if i don't feel like checking it i will not check it but i'll make sure that i don't go past a week without checking it because we're trying to maintain and to see what whether what we're doing is working like diet wise exercise wise and everything talking about exercising oh my god i am in pain i'm in pain i work out on monday wednesday and friday and yeah it's just pain and tiredness i don't know why people make exercising look so glamorous like you know you're not feeling pain because you know you always see the results 
but not like the everyday pain and the exhaustion like when you're exercising you don't have insomnia you get to bed you hit the pillow and it's lights out it's literally lights out oh this third one on my list oh my god the guilt of eating the food that you really want to eat that you know is not good for you okay little story time little story time i swear mm. so last week on monday like went out with my husband and like his friends and stuff for like pizza and drinks i had not had a pizza for the whole of last year of 2023 and i had pizza like in february 2024 was that pizza slice not nice oh my god it hit my heart in so many so many ways that i never thought like i miss food the other time it hit me uh we hadn't had ice cream the whole of last year and then we had it in december in december 2023 ordered mcflurry my heart was full and there's these pastries that i love from trescatelli i think it's been months it had been like not over a year but at like seven or eight months or nine months with a, those italian pastries are like to die for you'll be in heaven had those and it was just amazing oh man the thing with junk food and like pizza and all that stuff and what also surprised me i must say about the pizza i only managed to have three slices imagine that but before on god i could really really eat a whole pizza by myself imagine that like i, I couldn't believe that i i sat there ate this ate this pizza it was so nice but then i could not finish all the way and shout out to portion control because my stomach does not have enough space for what i want to eat and i don't want to get to a point where i eat and eat and eat and eat and start to have like um you know a disorder of you know eating and purging and i'm not coming for anyone that has bulimia it's a real problem and i also have to fight that urge of i want to eat whatever i want to eat but maybe there's the option of me just eating it feeling good and then purging it so it's a it's like a fight to not eat a lot and to eat a lot and just to balance it out but the guilt of eating and regulating whatever food that you want to eat because now you tell yourself as you're losing the weight i'm cutting out this 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 and that and then when you start to introduce that food again it's like do, how many times do i eat it before it like affects me and all of these other things because i am on a watch on my cholesterol on my high blood pressure insulin all these other things and i i'm just making sure my levels do not go above my levels do not exceed the healthy limit and it's 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 such a i don't know it's such a difficult thing that to, to go through when you want to eat specific things but you know you gotta keep it balanced and i think my solution is just maybe once a month or maybe once or twice a year i will have a nice slice of pizza or i have pizza or something to substitute in between like maybe make lasagna once in a while the last time i made lasagna was in december and we hadn't had it the whole year as well so a lot of things were happening in december and i'm really happy that as we are introducing the food that we used to eat it's not in excess like we used to we used to buy a lot of fast food a lot of you just you're working you're tired you buy fast food i make sure i cook now but yo that guilt is so real let me know if you also have the if you're on a weight loss journey or even if you're just maintaining whatever situation that you're in whenever you get like you know that guilt that guilty pleasure type of food like how do you deal with it how do you regulate do you just sit there and you're like today is my day i don't care about anything else we're gonna do this then tomorrow we'll face the consequences let me know in the comments down below and oh this other one on my list like it's number four how many things that i have on this list i have six so i said i had five we have six feeling like you are not exercising enough and always being tired like i spoke about it just hints earlier on like i told you i started properly like uh putting in the exercises i exercise at home i do taibo and then i've been i started to lift weights as well last year i'd been doing it a little bit but the most exercise i did last year was literally just walking we walked a lot in the mornings when we woke up and at night like at night after supper then we'll take a walk again we'll still take the walks but then we've been also trying to just exercise indoors because where i stay most of the times it's summer is like really short 
and then it's mostly winter so sometimes those walks are not possible so we're just trying to make sure that we are exercising like in the home and making sure that there's no excuse for you not to exercise because sometimes we would wake up and it's raining and we're like we're not gonna take a walk because it's raining it's like already an excuse then you just sit and you do nothing like i said i'm always in pain my body's in pain like right now my abs are in pain my arms are in pain my shoulder blades are in pain i know i look happy and you know like oh my gosh you look so pretty and my stomach is growling because i'm intermittent fasting there's a lot that's just going on but you know we are just here exercising i don't know sometimes i feel like i'm not doing enough because you know you go online and you or you check people or you you know you check with trainers and all that stuff and people are like i've been going in the gym and i've been in here for three hours i've been doing this and then you see the results and you're like okay but with my life and how my life is set up can i really keep up with being in the gym like it's my career there are you know three four or the whole week doing three to four hours or reps kind of in the week it's it's just kind of a lot so i've just been learning to regulate and be like you know what if my my body is like telling me okay we need to stop we can just push a little bit but not too much that i won't be able to do and keep my routine of monday wednesday and friday which i've been keeping and it's almost like two months as january started when the second month of doing it like when i say we my husband and i are both losing weight at the same time and keeping and doing this on a health journey together so it's been really helpful on that that's a real plus having a support system that just keeps you going whenever you want to just like i don't want to do this anymore i really don't want to do this anymore all right the fourth thing that i have on my list is comparison like comparing your journey to someone else's that's like death that's death because you will go online and you will see i lost maybe like a hundred kilograms in four months i'm like ozembe you cannot tell me it's not ozembe okay you really cannot do that but anyway so the real though so it's really really so hot in cape town my camera just like tapped out like it tapped out in the middle of me just recording me just talking i think it was just telling me wrap this video up you've been talking for too long and i i, I get it i get it mm. As I was saying, comparing your weight loss journey to other people is like a death sentence. It doesn't work for you because it's just going to give you more anxiety than what you actually need. Because you're comparing someone's journey and you don't know what they did. You don't know how they got there. Some people did surgery. Some people really did go on like a rapid weight loss journey. Maybe they have a dietitian. They have, a, you know, like a trainer or anything like that. And bodies are just different. If I decide to lose weight and... Uh, I do it with someone else. They might lose it faster than I do because our metabolisms are different. We may be eating the same things, but maybe they process food differently and exercising our bodies, our frames, everything is just so different. So I just learned that I have to, you know, get inspiration from other people and see what's working for them and stuff like that but then i must know that this is my personal journey and my personal journey will not be like someone else's but the things that they are doing are similar because results are all the same you know if you want to lose weight you either have to change your diet or exercise or combine both and depending on how quickly you do it or how much you put into it is what you're going to get out of it and for me personally like on this weight loss journey i wanted to make it something i can continuously do for the rest of my life because even after i lose all the weight i need to also maintain okay yeah so my camera cut out again i'm gonna go as fast as i can before it keeps doing this it's hot here where i am but anyways i was saying comparison is the thief of joy comparing how you look and the time frame that it actually takes you to get to a specific point can be really really good for you or it can be bad for you depending on how you get your motivation or how you get it in in the gym to make sure that you keep going the next thing that's on my list is how we don't talk about or how we don't really talk about how expensive it is to lose weight because you're gonna need new wardrobe the food that you're eating changes because you are cutting out specific things substituting them with different things like you buying quinoa couscous all these other things i know it's not necessary but if you're trying to replace rice what do you replace it with we, you know to kind of match the same energy if you're replacing pasta getting your brown rice or they say basmati rice or whatever it is that they suggest or just having fresh veg all the time consistently you know all the time at home is also expensive even if the veg is like cabbage is like 16 rand or a dollar or whatever the case might be but just consistently having fresh 
food, fresh produce, and all these other things is really expensive. And the wardrobe situation, like all the clothes I was wearing, I cannot wear because I don't fit. And the more I lose weight, the more I have to change the wardrobe. Recently, I just did a whole video, you can definitely check it out, of my weight loss try on haul. Everything I used to wear is, is gone. I cannot really wear it again. And now I have new clothes. I feel great, but when I lose more weight, as I keep losing more weight, I'm gonna have to also just keep buying new clothes until we get to the desired weight. So weight, losing weight is expensive and these are some things that we really don't talk about because I cannot wear my own clothes and I cannot eat the same way I was eating. Changing even simple things like oil from just vegetable oil to having like avocado oil or not deep frying changes your whole situation of how you cook. If you are not frying foods and all of these other things, oven food, microwave food, processed food, the meat that you are eating, it changes a whole lot. So losing weight is expensive. Whether you are buying expensive things or even just, you know, just normal things, just keeping fresh things around can be really hectic. I don't even want to lie and say it was a cheap journey or anything. A lot of things really had to change and that's something that I was not prepared for and I had to just adjust. Let me know if you can relate and already things are expensive as we know. So it can be really a lot. So if you are in a good weight range and things are going well for you, you know, try and just watch it so you don't you don't end up on that side because it gets expensive trying to come back from that journey like it did for me personally the last thing that i have on my list that's just kind of like a little fear or a little downside of me gaining weight is just i i was before i lost the weight when i was still like 200 pounds 100 kilograms i was really scared that i was gonna have sagging skin and I was going to deal with a lot of things because I watched a lot of weight loss videos. I think I was watching more people that lost weight through surgery because they were talking about sagging skin. Then I realized that whenever you lose weight really, really fast, you don't give your time, your skin and your body time to adjust. So the saggy skin makes sense. But then when you're doing it nice and slow, like I've been doing it, I know I took a year to lose weight. For some people, it might be short, it might be too long, but everything is still fitting fine. I don't have saggy skin or anything, but things like stretch marks, are they they are just the byproduct of me stretching and coming back there's nothing i can do about those i know this you know your lasers and all these other things but it was genuine fear and it also added to my anxiety that i talked about earlier on to the situation that I've, i'm going through right now so it's just one of those things i just never thought about i'm really grateful i don't have to you know go through skin removal because i i also know the psychological part that comes with losing weight and trying to do the best for your body and for your health and then having to deal with that and the costs that come with that like i talked about the cost if you're doing the surgery way or a zimbic or whatever the 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 method that you lost weight with it also comes with that price and and yeah the other thing that i would just add to this list is just going through going to see the doctor and making sure that everything is okay it's one of those things that give you that personally give me anxiety visiting the doctor and getting checked up every time for you know your blood work and everything like that it also comes with its own toll that you really are not uh, mentally prepared for but you now have to keep up to always make sure that you're okay and it's something that i noticed i was putting on the side and once you start doing it it's okay of course i have fear of needles and all these other things as well but you know you gotta do it keep the checking up the, the the getting pricked to make sure that you know your blood sugar is in check your cholesterol and all these other things those are things that you know you normally just have to do but it comes with that fear because you know that you are in the danger zone as you you know you can put it when it comes to your weight your health and all that please let me know if there's anything that you know if you're on a weight loss journey or even just seeing other people loved ones around you going through this were there any fears anything things that you know you really didn't think could come into losing weight like the downsides besides all the glory let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video and just sitting here listening to me talk about my journey and everything that's been happening check out my playlist on my weight loss journey if you are new here and you have no idea what's been going on and my journey and all these other things i will continue to document as things happen whether i gain lose maintain i will always come back and share what's good much love bye